It begins in a place where no civilization should exist, at the bottom of the world. Antarctica, a land of eternal ice, frozen winds, and silence. For millions of years, it has been sealed away from the warmth of the sun, a white desert larger than Europe itself. No cities, no temples, no life beyond the hardy few that brave its frozen wastelands. And yet, beneath its endless sheets of ice, scientists are finding shapes, massive geometric shapes that shouldn't be there. Perfect triangles, sharp edges, symmetry that nature almost never creates. Could it be possible that beneath Antarctica's ice lie the remains of ancient pyramids, structures built long before our recorded history even began? The mystery began with a satellite image. In 2012, researchers scanning the Ellsworth Mountains region noticed a cluster of striking formations, three large pyramid-shaped peaks emerging through the ice. Each had symmetrical faces and near-perfect alignment to the cardinal directions. One measured more than 400 feet tall, nearly the height of the Great Pyramid of Giza. At first, scientists dismissed the images as natural formations, noon attacks, rocky peaks poking through glaciers shaped by erosion. But the symmetry was uncanny, far too precise for mere coincidence. Then, as glacial melt and radar imaging expanded, more anomalies began to appear. Structures buried deeper beneath the ice, hundreds of miles apart, yet all sharing similar geometry. That's when the questions began. If these pyramids were natural, why did they appear in clusters? Why did they align with Earth's cardinal points, north, south, east and west, with astonishing accuracy? And why did they seem to follow a pattern identical to ancient pyramid complexes in Egypt, Mesoamerica and China? Geologists argue that Antarctica's extreme conditions can carve peaks into geometric shapes over millions of years. But the precision here, the matching angles, the proportions, the alignments, has fueled an alternative possibility. That these are not natural formations at all, but remnants of a civilization erased by ice. If so, the implications are staggering. We know Antarctica wasn't always frozen. Around 12,000 years ago, near the end of the last ice age, it was a much warmer continent, covered in forests, rivers, and possibly habitable regions along its coasts. Studies of sediment cores and fossilized pollen show that trees once grew there. Marine fossils found hundreds of miles inland suggest the land was ice-free and teeming with life. This timeline coincides eerily with another mystery. The sudden disappearance of several ancient cultures and the onset of global flooding known as the Younger Dryas event. Some scientists believe a cataclysmic event, perhaps a comet impact, struck Earth around that time, triggering rapid climate shifts and burying entire regions under ice and sea. Could Antarctica have been one of those lost regions? The idea isn't new. In the 16th century, explorers like Oronce Fine and Piri Reis mapped a southern continent long before Antarctica was officially discovered. The Piri Reis map, drawn in 1513, is especially shocking. It depicts a southern landmass free of ice, with detailed coastlines strikingly similar to modern radar images of Antarctica's subglacial topography. How could a 16th century map show features hidden beneath two miles of ice? When the US Navy and later NASA studied the map in the 20th century, they couldn't explain it. Admiral Richard E. Byrd's expeditions in the 1940s and 1950s added more intrigue. His flight logs from Operation High Jump describe mountain ranges and valleys that should not exist beneath the polar ice, an observation that would later inspire decades of speculation about lost civilizations beneath the Antarctic continent. Then came the modern era of satellite imaging. In 2017, high-resolution scans revealed three-dimensional contours beneath the ice in regions previously inaccessible. Among them, distinct triangular structures with perfect geometric proportions. Scientists called for further study, but the harsh conditions made excavation impossible. Still, the discoveries kept coming. Ice-penetrating radar from the European Space Agency revealed what appeared to be rectilinear formations, straight lines and sharp edges, buried under nearly a mile of ice near the Transantarctic Mountains. Beneath that, radar echoes suggested hollows or voids, massive empty spaces within the ice sheet. Some believe these could be subglacial caverns, 
Others think they may conceal something far older. A joint US-European research team confirmed in 2020 that certain mountain peaks in Queen Maudland displayed crystalline rock formations inconsistent with the surrounding geology, hinting that they may have been altered or quarried. Could these peaks be more than they appear? If there were pyramids beneath the Antarctic ice, who built them? Some researchers link the idea to a lost civilization that thrived before the last ice age, a global culture capable of advanced architecture and navigation. Others suggest the builders may have been the ancestors of early Egyptians or pre-Incan peoples, their knowledge inherited from a common source. The most provocative theory suggests that Antarctica could be the true location of Atlantis, Plato's legendary island civilization beyond the Pillars of Hercules, said to have vanished beneath the sea after a day and night of catastrophe. Geologists now know that massive crustal shifts and sudden ice formation around 12,000 years ago could have transformed entire continents. If a civilization once existed there, the ice would have preserved it perfectly, frozen in time. Even mainstream science admits that Antarctica conceals secrets we are only beginning to glimpse. Beneath its ice lie mountains taller than the Alps, lakes the size of entire countries, and ancient river systems untouched for millions of years. In 2019, scientists drilled through two miles of ice to reach Lake Mercer, where they discovered microbes and organic material dating back thousands of years proof that life persisted even beneath the ice. What else might be buried there? If the radar images and satellite data truly show artificial structures, it could rewrite our understanding of history. Civilization, it would mean, did not begin 6,000 years ago. It began before the ice. Humanity's story may stretch back into a forgotten age, erased by cataclysm and sealed beneath the world's last great wilderness. For now, the Antarctic pyramids remain locked away, guarded by blizzards, pressure, and time itself. Scientists continue to debate, governments restrict access, and the truth slumbers beneath miles of frozen silence. But one thing is certain, the deeper we look beneath the ice, the stranger Antarctica becomes. The discovery of pyramid-like structures buried beneath Antarctica's ice has challenged everything we know about the ancient world. Yet halfway across the globe, another enigma rises from the sands. The mysterious Black Pyramid, said to hold secrets lost for over 4,000 years. Join me as we uncover the truth hidden within one of Egypt's most forbidden monuments. Beneath the burning Egyptian sun, standing in the shadow of the mighty pyramids of Giza, lies a structure that few tourists ever see. A pyramid that seems to whisper from the very edges of history. It is not golden, not dazzling, and not celebrated on postcards. Instead, it is black, crumbling, and almost forgotten. Yet within its fractured stones lies a story so shocking that it could rewrite what we think we know about ancient Egypt. This is the mystery of the Black Pyramid. At first glance, it appears more like a ruin than a wonder, a misshapen mound of weathered mud brick collapsing upon itself. But this disfigured giant hides something extraordinary. A labyrinth of corridors, hidden burial chambers, and ancient secrets sealed away for nearly 4,000 years. Unlike the pristine perfection of Khufu's Great Pyramid, the Black Pyramid tells a darker tale of ambition, failure, and forgotten knowledge. Why was this pyramid blackened and left in ruin while others stood the test of time? And why did pharaohs, obsessed with eternal life, choose this place to hide treasures and mummies despite its flaws? To answer that, we must travel back to the Middle Kingdom of Egypt, a period of revival, innovation, and mystery. The pyramid was built under Pharaoh Amenemhat III, around 1850 BCE. His reign marked a golden age of engineering, where canals redirected the Nile and colossal statues were carved to watch over temples. But in his pursuit of eternal glory, Amenemhat defied tradition. Instead of building in Giza or Saqqara, he chose the fertile floodplains near Dasha, 